If you want to love Twilight, that's great. I'm having more thoughts in the last 20 minutes than were put into the screenplay. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> but I respect if you choose to do so because you make your own decisions. <laughs> Our thoughts on Eclipse. Uh. Welcome to Cinema Therapy. I am Alan Seawright, professional filmmaker, and I need therapy. And I'm Jonathan Decker, licensed therapist, and I love movies. What are we doing today? We're reacting to Twilight Eclipse. Oh, gosh. We get to see Edward and Bella and Jacob and Charlie and Alice, the couple that we all should have had. In the words of Gollum, it burns! It burns us! I feel diuretic when I think of these films. It burns me so bad internally, <laughs> my heart, my soul. And P okay, first of all, some of you have said in the comments, you guys seem to go a lot harder on Twilight than anything else. That is yep. accurate. If you feel like we're picking on you because we're picking on Bella, you're a human being. Mm -hmm. You're a fully realized three-dimensional person with hopes and dreams and feelings. Bella is a cipher. Is a cipher. She is a nothing. And besides, I don't think we're even setting our sights on Bella today. I mean, she'll get some of the... She'll get some. But we're, we're going after the guys. Such tools. This time, I'm actually kind of bracing myself for pain and might even taking some pleasure in some pain. I'm gonna to talk to my therapist about that. Hey, listen, if you're into BDSM, I'm not into, we're I'm not in, gonna be doing Fifty Shades of Grey. We're just not, but this is our version of it. Is BDSM? just watching these. I'm not into BDSM. I'm into DSM. Five. Wow, that dad joked so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit it. Marry me. So, worst, worst proposal of all time? No, well, because a, a worse one's coming. <laughs> but true to Edward's character, he gives okay, it as well, a command to yeah. Bella. <laughs> Marry it's me. It's called a compromise. You do what I want, and it's I get what I want. That's a compromise. <laughs> That's not fair. Marriage is just, it's a piece of paper. So is the Constitution. Where I'm from. It's the way one says I love you. So is the Constitution where I'm like from. Where I come from, at my age. It's the way one says I just got knocked up. Bell is not wrong. I think you'll find the uh, vampire human divorce rate is a little lower. Because there's no such thing. So, production design, Spring. we're gonna put Bell in flannel. We're gonna put Bella in flannel, we're gonna put both of them in a meadow with poorly transplanted flowers. They have to be back in Which makes her a lumberjack. Are, I mean, look at look at these flowers. They're all drooping and dying in the background. No, that's terrible. But in flannel, she's a lumberjack, which tracks because she's making a piece of wood fall for her. <laughs> you said the flowers were transplanted. They didn't grow them there naturally, I, especially in that opening shot as it's panning down. You can see they all just look dead. It's it's like, come on, guys. Maybe it's smarter than we department. realize. Maybe that's thematic. He's dead, the flowers are dead. <laughs> this is what's happening to your love. Our enthusiasm yeah. for this franchise is dead. My enthusiasm <laughs> for this franchise is just going up. <laughs> I love this crap. Let's do some more. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN or virtual private network which you can use to protect yourself online, but we're gonna use it to watch content in other countries. So many other countries. You can unlock the world's 15 largest country Netflix libraries and access so many things that you can't get here or wherever you are. Like, if you're not from America, get all of our American sh <laughs> If you're in the US, you can get stuff that you can't get in the US on Netflix, like Friends, Rick and Morty, Doctor Who, you Whovian? I'm, yeah, well, I'm a Whovian. And you can access BBC iPlayer, iHulu, is that a thing? iHulu is not a thing. Uh, or Hulu just Hulu, Hulu and uh, other services wherever you are. And you can access all of this content by installing Surfshark on your TV, your computer, your phone, your whatever other device, your watch. You probably can't use Surfshark on your watch. You can use it on an unlimited number of devices. That's right. There are apps for all platforms, 24-7 customer service, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to surfshark.deals slash cinematherapy and use our code, which is... Cinematherapy. Cinematherapy, and you will get 83% off and an extra three months free. 83% off. That's just sexy. That's one way to look at it. Thank you, Surfshark, for helping us to watch more movies.
But I have other reasons for grounding you. Like, uh... <laughs> Line. <laughs> I just want you to get some separation from him. Edward is in my life. Yeah, I'm gathering that. You really, you really <laughs> sold me on that. That was really emotional so, commitment there. All right. I love that he reaches this? for the beer anytime Make he doesn't like something. You're not grounded anymore. If you use your newfound freedom to see some of your other friends too, like what's their name? Like Jacob. Oh, there you go. He's uh, going through a really tough time right now. His dad's really worried about him. I remember when that was you. <laughs> Two months ago. You needed a friend. Jake was there. Here's here's what hurts me watching this from my own memories. The harder her dad steers her towards Jacob, the harder she pumps the brakes on Jacob. Mm -hmm. And that explains, like, that was my high school experience. I was the guy that the parents were like, have you considered Jonathan? Oh, yeah, no, you were <laughs> always the Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. Except for, you know, I didn't end up being, you know, an abuser and a controller. But, sure, sure. But just the, the guy who's, who is... In his case, seems nice and safe. You did run around with your shirt off a lot. I was in cross country. It was my God-given right. There you go. I had to tan. I, I had to look, I had to be bronzed. This was Arizona. Can't get away with this in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, parents are always, and that's the thing, parents, you're trying to push your kids towards, uh, your teenagers towards someone to date. <laughs> like, I don't know why good anyone, luck. maybe one kid in a million says, oh, thanks, dad. That's a good option for me. Oh, sure, yeah. Bella, I do like, here's one thing I like about Eclipse. Bella is more assertive. Mm -hmm. Up to a point, she's done putting up with Edward and Jacob's crap. And I say up to a point because she doesn't actually kick either of them to the curb. No. <laughs> she puts up with a whole lot of crap, just not all of it. Yeah. She's, I want you in my life, but I'm going to draw some soft boundaries, which, you know, is progress for Bella. We'll give her points for that. Sure, sure. Generally, most girls' reaction to me in high school as well. You scared me. Yep, that was it. <laughs> how? <laughs> Is there another reservation? How did you? How did the car shake? Alice. Because he just climbed in, didn't he? Like. Hey, did you do this? He like truck? turboed his way in or something. Oh, you have to understand. Your safety is everything to me. Jacob's not gonna hurt me. Not intentionally, but the wolves. Her free will no should control. be everything to you. Yup. I have until graduation to see him. <sighs> and then I'll be one of you. And then and you can control you me completely. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Actually, you might be. It's the same level of emotion as anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kate. I'm sorry. Not shown in actions. You can say I'm sorry all you want. If you'd ever change, doesn't mean a damn thing. So he keeps her car from starting. Yep. To keep her from going to Jacob, to keep her safe. Uh -huh. This is called control. This is called possessive. I buy her. She belonged to me as a property. So here's the thing. That's not love. Nope. Because he's what he literally sees her as his. Not in the sense of... I'm yours, you're mine, we're Valentines. In the sense of, I own you, I get to say where you go, when you go there, what you get to do. Because, to keep you safe. Because grandpa knows best. Oh or great grandpa knows best. He's, or great great grandpa. Yeah, I've been around a while, Bella. You should trust my judgment on this. Creeper. I mean, you th we think of him as a, a bit pedo because she's so young. But the fact is, his plan is, you stay mortal, I'll stay young, and we'll stay together till you die. Which is either when you grow old and gray and wrinkly, or I kill you because I need a midnight snack. He's just but keeping I'll the pantry you. stocked. He's She's... keeping the pantry stocked. <laughs> yes, that's what this is. It's not love. He just needs to keep the pantry stocked. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but seriously, you're dating someone who's telling you where you can and can't go. This is not romantic. They're not protecting you. Doesn't matter how pretty and rich they are. Now, quick side note on that, the flip side, there are people who say, I don't need to tell my partner where I'm going or where I've been because they don't own me, they don't control me. I see it as a common courtesy to tell the person, because what if something happens and they need to find you, right? This is, that's just about trust. But one is, is willingly offered, right? Hey, yeah. I'm going to the gym. I'll be back in an hour. You know, everyone knows what's going on. 
The other is I'm going to track you and I'm going to, you know, see what you're up to and <sighs> I'm having more thoughts in the last 20 minutes than were put into the screenplay. <laughs> And for all the people in the comments who are like, you just don't understand because his brain got frozen as a teenage brain. That's why he's in love with a teenager. There is no evidence for that. None whatsoever. Yeah. He has done so many things with his life. He has obviously learned and grown and done other things. You grow and mature through experience. And if you can imagine 109 years of life experience, I look at like if I were trapped in my 20 year old body and I was past 100, that would be amazing. That would be the best thing ever. But apparently he's like stuck as a teenager. I'm not buying it. Charlie said you left town. Yeah. What the hell? To visit my mom, why? He's checking to see if you're still human. It's hilarious. Look, I'm here to warn you. It's so funny. If you're kind, come on our land again. Wait, what? You didn't tell her? Of course not. Why would I tell her things? Tell me why. Protect through lies. Emmett and Paul had a misunderstanding. There's nothing to worry about. There's Listen someone out to you. kill you, Bella. We should take precautions. Did you lie to get her out of town, too? You should leave. Now. She has a right to know. Yeah, point for Jacob. She's the one the redhead wants. Victoria? Ron Weasley. Alice's vision. <laughs> I was trying to protect you. By lying to me. Thank you! Okay, we're gonna talk about this, but... Yes. You. Why haven't you called me back? I need a little side action, Jacob. I had nothing to say. Edward's not going there for me. Why aren't you... Why are you ghosting me? Well, I have tons. Hold on. Hey. Oh. Edward, you have to trust me. I do trust you. I, I just don't trust it's you. It's him I don't trust. Or you. <laughs> I lose the grin, Jacob. I'm just going for a ride. Hold it's on, too sorry. much emotion for this movie to handle. <laughs> yeah, lose the grin, Jacob. It's not that kind of movie. Hey, kid. It ain't that kind of movie. Uh, I actually, there there are things about this scene I like. Bella actually has some free will. She makes her own decisions. Yeah. She doesn't just kowtow to anything Edward mumbles at her. Maybe she doesn't kowtow because she doesn't know what the hell he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't stay in the car. And then when, Ed, when she finds out that Edward's been lying to her, credit where it's due, I like that she says to Edward, we're talking about this later. Which is what my parents used to tell me, which is what my wife tells me. Every time it does the trick, I am humbled and I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah. So Bella doing some good stuff there. Jake is is fine. He's not being particularly emotionally manipulative or abusive so far. Well, when he says she deserves to know, I mean, gosh, Edward, like, yeah, get it together. Like, stop trying to protect her. By, by lying to her and hiding things from her. Yeah, by lying to her, hiding things from her, and controlling her. Like, what he should have said to her is, Bella, there's someone out to kill you. Me and my family of super vampires have the capacity to protect you if you will let us. Let's strategize together because we could really use your thoughts on this. You know, your own safety. I think a great way to protect you would be to send you to Florida while we hunt down this vampiress and rip her head off and burn her. Yeah. That would be a useful thing to do. We're three movies in, man. Grow. He's 109. He's not going to grow now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's That sums up. If we, if we <laughs> stop the episode here, <laughs> we could end on that note. Our thoughts on Eclipse. Uh, <laughs> imprinting on someone is like... Like when you see her. Ah, uh, imprinting. Everything changes. All of a sudden, it's not... Gravity holding you to the planet. It's oh. her. The world's stupidest, most Nothing dangerous romantic concept. Thanks, Stephanie Meyer. You would do anything. And screenwriters. Have you... imprinted on someone? A gentleman never says. And a lady never asks. <laughs> You'd know if I had. That just sounds gross. That sounds really creepy. I'd be peeing on Sam's thoughts. I'm a dog. 
So for now, you're That's exactly still what you. it sounds like to yeah. me. <laughs> like I've left my scent on you. And you're still <laughs> you. Until graduation. Graduation. You knew this was gonna happen. Not in a month. <laughs> or before I could. <laughs> oh! Okay. For a second. Just a second, I thought. Easy, Jake. But he's got his hooks in you so deep. So flashes of rage like that, pretty big red flag, yeah? Yep. You're not even yep. alive. Okay. Yep. It makes me sick. Better you really be dead than one of them. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Tough coming back from that. And yet she'll let him back in. Oh yeah, totally. Breathe, Jake. Can't believe you said that. You can tell by how much I'm emoting while I say it. Edward was right, I shouldn't have come. Oh, Bella, come on. Please. You you mean so much to me for some reason. Just walk out, Bella. I'm sorry. Why are you still here? Oof. Okay. So that's how you assassinate a character, because this is stuff that previous Two and a half films Jacob never would have done. Yeah. And suddenly is doing. That being said, this is the character we've got, and it's bad. Well, and not only is it a character assassination, but for the rest of the film and the rest of the franchise, Stephanie Meyer is going to double, triple, quadruple tap. Just keep shooting him in the head oh, to make yeah. sure he's dead. So can you tell me, as someone who, who's read... The literature. <laughs> the extended pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> the brochures. What's up with imprinting? Yeah, so imprinting is the worst thing ever. It's the worst. <laughs> uh, if you're a, a wolf guy or a wolf girl or a... A they wolf. If you're a they wolf, you will, at some point, imprint on someone. Which, by the way, is not a thing that wolves do. It's between obsession and compulsion somewhere. Yeah. Like, you must be with this person. You will do anything to be with this person. You basically turn into such an exceptional stalker that they can't stay away from you. That's a healthy concept. Real, real great. Well, is it, so I imprint on you, therefore you will be with me because I imprinted on you, right? Yeah. That's like... It removes your ability to choose. That's like, like in so high school, it was senior year, and my buddy, like called dibs on a girl for prom. Like, the rest of you can't ask her out, I'm asking her out. I'm like, she's a human being. She's not shotgun on the way to Wendy's, you know? Like, you can't just call. Like, I got dibs. Like, it's Stephanie. So is it, is it like having dibs on a person? It's basically like having dibs, but it's, it's like having dibs and removing their agency because yeah. they, like, once you imprint on someone, you will morph yourself into whatever you need to be so that they will fall in love with you and they don't have a choice in this process. They're gonna choose to fall in love with you, but they're gonna choose to fall in love with you because you became whatever it is that they were gonna fall in love with. So, um, I have two options at this point as a relationship expert, as a therapist. I could say no comment, or I could have seven hours of comments. Oh, doesn't he own a shirt? Oh boy. Zinger, zinger. I, <laughs> I love the, the awkward moment Not between be them. <laughs> She's like, that, that wasn't funny, Edward. You need to hunt. <laughs> oh gosh. She knows that she's being used to make Jacob jealous, and she's like, uh, but I'm into he's it. so minty fresh. You he's winter mint. Maybe rush a little bit. Hey, beautiful. Hi. But with him, she's like, uh, okay. That's a sweet ass ball. Well, what you want to do today? Bike, <laughs> hike, chain, your call. Well, we're going to a party tonight. So Edward's trying to make Jacob jealous. Yep. Jacob's trying to make Edward jealous. And I still keep coming back to, they should just get rid of Bella. They should just kiss. They should just see what happens. Or loop her in, I don't know. Oh, this part. Green screen or real background? I mean, it looks good. So, uh, Alice is planning a big graduation party. Yeah, I think Which real. Which you invited to. 
Yeah, they're actually there. Yeah, figured that. Way to go God, or volcanoes, or whatever. To make that background? Yeah. What? It's very pretty. Best part of the movie. <laughs> I just want to do this differently. Best part of the movie. <laughs> Washington. Smoother. As played by Canada. <laughs> but now I'm out of time. I want to do this smoother. You need to hear the truth, Bella. Understand all your options. He's doing lines like Edward now. And you need to know. And not even the fun lines. That I'm in love with you. Oh, yeah. And I want you to choose me instead of him. Well. Hey, look, you have fun about it? Yeah. Points for directness. I don't feel that way for you. I don't buy it. <laughs> Why don't you buy and it? And all those points are gone. That's how I feel. Stephanie Meyer's up there on the grassy knoll. For me. You just <laughs> won't admit it. So I'm not giving up. I'm gonna fight for you. Against your consent, against your will. Until your heart stops beating. Consent is key. Well, then you're not gonna have to fight for long. You're rushing into it because you're afraid you'll change your mind. No, I'm not. Let me tell you what you think, Bella. I know what I want. I want a man to tell me what I want. You wouldn't have to change for me, Bella. Or say goodbye to anybody. I can give you more than him. You would need to get a I mean, large industrial brush. Me hurting you. Big vacuum. Feel that? Flesh and blood. Big chewy Here. bones. Let me, let me put your hand on my body. Hope you're cool with it. That can backfire. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I saw that in Batman vs. Superman. Like that exact moment. <laughs> when <laughs> Superman kissed Batman and then he punched Superman in the face. Look, if I you haven't seen the Snyder the Cut, you're missing out. There's some stuff in there so you never saw. Much no, better. the punch, the punch, not the kiss. <laughs> My thoughts on this scene are as follows. Oh boy. <laughs> if I actually had like splashing sound effects and like a oh, torrent of stuff coming out. <laughs> But what I don't want to movie for vomit. I'd rather talk about anything than this. Anything movie. than this movie. We want to know your best, your favorite movie vomiting scenes in the comments below. This is not planned. I am literally just needing a reprieve from what we're doing right now. <laughs> <coughs> Let's get back to this because uh, we just had a sexual assault. Yes, we did. Jacob keeps doing this thing where he takes like one step into a good decision and uh -huh. then a hard left into being a jackass. Yeah. Him saying to her, "Hey, I'm out of time." You know, you're gonna make this life-altering choice in a month, and I think you deserve to know all your options. Sure. I'm in love with you, and I want you to choose me. Well, that's totally valid. And and especially if he had followed that up with, now, you don't have to say anything today. Think on that. I know what I just said might make you uncomfortable. Yeah, and <laughs> I get that. Probably did. Um, <clears throat> and I will respect whatever decision you make. Like if he had if he had capped it with just that little thing. Bing. But instead, he goes back into this whole, Edward's got his meat hooks into you, and I mean, he's so sure. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you what want. what you want is me, because I'm a nice guy. Jacob represents what's now known as incel culture. Very much so. Incel stands for involuntary celibate. Yep. It is somebody who would like to be in a relationship. It is someone who would like to be in a romantic sexual relationship, doesn't have that in their life, and feels entitled to it and blames other people for it yep. instead of, hey, sometimes these things don't work out or, hey, maybe I should work on myself to make myself more attractive to the types of people I am attracted to. And not just the abs. Like, Jake, congratulations. Just because you got the abs doesn't mean you've arrived. You actually have to be a, a decent person. But he, so with incels, it's like, I am so sure that you will choose me. I'm so sure that you will come around. And this is, frankly, supported by a lot of movies mm -hmm. where this stunning impossibly perfect woman falls for his kind of goofy dude because he Adam Sandlered hard enough around her long enough and by Adam Sandlered I mean every movie Adam Sandler's ever made <laughs> Shut up! And, and then what happens is niceness and decency become bargaining chips 
they become, this is a trading post. I will treat you well. In exchange for basically sexual favors. Yeah. And, you know, and, and being in a relationship with me and meeting right. my, you know, so I'm not lonely and Emotional blah, blah, blah. But, it, but blah, blah, blah. it's still. It's transactional. It's, it's prostitution. Yeah. Yeah, it's gross. It, it is super gross. And then they get really angry and fired up when they feel like, well. So look, I, I understand the frustration. I've always been a pretty decent person. Yeah. You know, like that's how my parents raised me. But in my case, I had people that I was interested in, and I did have this hope that if I stayed around long enough, was good enough to them, that they would see that I was a good choice, a good fit. There's a difference between that hope, which frankly, a lot of true love stories happen start, that way. Yeah, they start that way, for sure. You know, like one person is more, and it's, it has to, because if one per, unless you're both equally interested from the start. Immediately. You're going to have someone who's more interested and is going to try and win the other person over, which is not a bad thing. The bad thing is, I don't take no for an answer. Yep. The bad thing is, I'm going to believe you don't know what you want, mm -hmm. and I'm going to convince you that you want what I want. And that's where we get manipulation. That's where we get control. That's where we get a lack of respect. And that's where what could have been love becomes possession. And frankly, both Jacob and Edward display this yeah. in different ways, but it still shows up. It's very similar. And let's talk about the sexual assault part. What is the difference between, because I don't, I mean, some people think it's romantic to, be, to say, you know, I would like to kiss you, or may I kiss you? And other people say, oh, that kind of ruins the moment if you have to ask. The difference is the hitch rule. Mm -hmm. If you come 90 and they come 10, they wanted to kiss you. Yes. If you come 90 and they back up 95. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? I'm showing you the magic. I no, I said come 90 and then I come 10. If you're not gonna ask for specific consent, you can give consent physically by... By reciprocating. But you can put yourself into their personal space, and if they don't want you there, they can extend that personal space, away. and you immediately back away. Yeah. That is another form of consent. Yeah. And you never attempt that again yeah. <laughs> without asking. And the thing about any type of consent is, because consent is key, is it can be withdrawn at any time. Oh, yeah. Someone can initially consent and then change their mind. Sure. Even in the middle of getting physical, they can change their mind. Yeah. And that needs to be honored. Immediately. There is there is no excuse ever for not honoring that. Oh, you don't know, but you really want this. Nope, you know. If I really had to boil down why Twilight pisses me off, is it portrayed as romantic that Edward and Jacob do not honor Bella? Not in any way, yeah. There is no honor and respect. Nope. She's property that they want. Aren't we forgetting one teensy-weensy, but ever so crucial little tiny detail? I own you! So he kisses her, and she's not kissing him back. And he keeps trying to kiss her. And he, like, keeps leaning forward. He goes, like, 100, 100 110, 120. Like, he's falling around, like, mm -hmm. oh, hang on. This is going to get good in any, a second. Any second now. Any You're second gonna now. You're going to figure this out. So now Edward somehow knows because of Alice or because he was no, watching? No, because he, he can read his mind immediately. Look, just repeat the will again. Don't do this She's here. not don't sure what she wants. Don't mine, do mine, 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 And she will. Jacob, just go, okay? Easy, guys, easy. Let's take Charlie. it down a notch. <laughs> What's going on? kissed Bella and she broke her hand punching my face <laughs> total misunderstanding <laughs> all right if you say so Jake so pretty good ownership from Jacob there the total misunderstanding you could read as like trying to play it off as like, not really a big deal. Or like, I am very sorry. Like you could read that line either way. Yeah, but I would prefer, I am very sorry. I am very sorry would be a better just thing to say. So here's where Charlie, our beloved Charlie, the only character we liked, the yep. only one we held out for, starts to really wet the bed. <laughs> when Jake says, I kissed Bella, Charlie's face is like, hey. Hmm. And then he and then he looks at Bella and then she's like, and Bella broke her hand, punching my face. And the way it's played is not Charlie. Charlie should be upset. He should definitely be upset. And he just looks kind of bewildered and maybe slightly proud of Jake. Yeah. 
Like, because he wanted Bella and Jake, you know. Yeah. And then, and then he looks Bill like, oh, because Bella punched you in the face, so it didn't go well, huh? Hmm. That Charlie never holds Jacob responsible. Yeah. And just kind of lets it slide. Not great parenting. No. And it's the precise moment where... Frankly, not great police work. <laughs> Being honest. Oh, you sexually assaulted my daughter? I'm not even going to cuff you. Once again, you've got Jacob and Edward fighting over Bella like she's, you know, the last string cheese in the lunch line. <laughs> <laughs> not the metaphor I was like, expecting. What did Jake even say? Because we were talking over it, but he was something like, she hasn't figured out what she wants yet, but she will. Like, it's all... Yeah. I don't want to beat the dead horse, but seriously. This is what Stephanie Meyer did with these badass vampires. And, look, and Stephanie, werewolves. Stephanie Meyer, if you're watching, I don't think you're watching. If you're watching, we don't feel too sorry. You're doing pretty well in life. And there are lots of people who love your work. Sure. So it's just good not, for you. It's just not good for you. We hope you're happy. Yeah. I mean, we wish we wish good things upon you. We hope you're happy. We hope we hope you're we, happy. I hope you're happy with what you've done. Our answers were okay. things like astronaut. President, or in my case, a princess. Criminally underutilized when we were 10, Anna they Kendrick. Asked again, we answered rock star, cowboy. And she forgot that she was in the or series. Or in my case, a gold medalist. Apparently. Yeah, because she's that actually up, saying things that are kind of well written. Well, how about this? Who the hell knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what we're going to do with our future? This isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions, this is the time to make mistakes. Take the wrong Anna train Kendrick and get stuck right. somewhere. You should be Fall learning from this, but you're not. A lot. <laughs> Major in philosophy, because there's no way to make a career out of that. You could be change a philosophy your mind professor. And change it again, because nothing's permanent. Or you could be a philosopher. That's so a profession. So make as many mistakes as you can. That way, someday when they ask what we want to be, we won't have to guess. We'll know. It's actually. Mostly good advice. Yeah. Um, I mean, the concept of make as many mistakes as you can may not be the best. Well, and I think the make as many mistakes as you can, the, the it's way not, to it's read not that, literal. it's not I'm that, it's, it's fail fast, right? It's, it's have an idea and start working towards it and get all of the mistakes out of the way as quickly as you can on your way to the, the good version of it. At least the big ones, you know, right. the ones you need to learn from. But uh, Yeah, fall in love with some idiot and then get your heart broken. But then don't marry him and change into a completely different immortal being because of him. On the next Edge of Your Seat episode of Cinema Therapy.